Welcome to this FSR monthly interview from the Think Scientific Council meeting in Brussels. We are here with Professor David Newberry, CBE, Emeritus Professor of Economics at the University of Cambridge and Research Director at the Cambridge Electricity Policy Research Group. Professor Newberry is going to update us on the current state of the energy market reform, UK's policy to deliver secure, clean and affordable energy. So, what progress has been made with the energy market reform? I think we've reached a rather frustrating point. The initial consultation now almost two years ago set out a very clear objective and means of reaching it. Uh, the idea was if we are to deliver the low carbon future in electricity we need a huge amount of investment and the main determinant of the cost of that will be the cost of capital and the main determinant of the cost of capital is the cost of risk. So the initial analysis made very clear that contracts, long-term contracts, which could be financed with debt, would lower the cost of capital and deliver the affordable, sustainable and renewable energy we needed. Uh, since then, uh, the Treasury has thrown various obstacles in the way of making the contracts credible. We thought the government was going to be the counterparty. Now the Treasury does not wish to be the counterparty. The Treasury is also threatening to limit the extent to which they can be subsidised, but to give very poor guidance to people making these long-term investments about how much money will be available. Uh, so the financiers are now really concerned that this will become much more expensive and difficult than they thought. And then on top of that, the Conservative and the uh, Liberal Democrat partners in the coalition are divided about onshore wind and nuclear power is proving to be more costly than we expected. So we are still waiting for the bill to go before Parliament and clarify what at the moment is rather obscure. So do you think this market reform will, will undermine the liberalised energy market uh, and aren't we maybe returning to the single buyer model? That is the question I'm always asked when I come to Europe because we obviously were, I think, very influential in producing the idea of the liberalised electricity market and leading to the directives. Uh, my response is that if you are going to have a large amount of low carbon energy when the carbon price is so unsatisfactorily low, it's going to require subsidy. If it's subsidised, then the government is essentially going to determine what those subsidies are. So we are already in a world in which governments or bureaucrats are making decisions about the energy mix. There is a hope that we can improve on that by using market mechanisms, particularly auctions, to find a more market-friendly approach to contracts. And the other point I would make is that during the first 10 years of our electricity market, all of the new generation, almost all of the new generation that came in, was financed by long-term contracts. The market works because when those generators are dispatched, they have to bid competitively, they have to make decisions on where they're going to locate, and they have to sell the power. Uh, and that's where the benefits of the market operate. I think the investment decisions have usually been driven by long-term contracts, and that's nothing new in this new market reform. How dependent is the EMR on nuclear power? Well, it's a very important part because we believe, or many people believe, that the only mature, at-scale, low-carbon technology available at the moment is nuclear power. Uh, we also have the advantage that the population is comfortable with nuclear power. In the post-Fukushima Daiichi catastrophe, um, we inspected the nuclear power plants to check their safety and we asked the people did they think things had changed. By and large they didn't think things had changed. So the environment socially and politically is favourable. The big difficulty is we don't know what it costs and every time we look again at plant being constructed in Europe the costs appear to go up. Uh, so the most difficult thing will be to design a contract for the new power plants, the first of a kind, which are politically acceptable. I think that's the main problem. Cost, not whether or not nuclear power is acceptable. Professor Newbier, thank you very much. We appreciate having had you here. Thank you very much.